One woman in Florida who calls DeSantis tropical Hitler <laughs> uh, gets a little triggered. <laughs> she says parents shouldn't be teaching their kids about sex. Well, are you retarded? Well, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say she has no kid but plenty of cats. You are correct, sir. Yeah. I'm Jazz Burgonzo, and this Fuck! is what's next. Good Saturday, everyone. Jazz Braganzo, what's next? Your daily dose. Of course, this is the weekend edition, and uh, hope you're enjoying the weekend wherever you are. Uh, normally, I try to lighten it up on the weekend, uh, but unfortunately, with politics being infused into every little thing, yeah, you can't get away from it. Well, this one uh, kind of caught my eye. Woman in Florida who's got a little bit of issue with Ron DeSantis says, yeah, teaching kids about sex, yeah, not your parents' job. This, out of our bar, hail Satan shirt wearer, DeSantis, a tropical Hitler, parents not qualified to teach their own kids about sex. Oh, really? Well, before we hear from Miss Wonderful, a woman wearing a Hail, uh, Hail Satan t-shirt declared at a recent in Cambio County, Florida school board meeting that Governor Ron DeSantis, yes, Mr. Macho Man to Savage himself, is tropical Hitler and asserted that parents are unqualified to teach their own kids about sex because, well, the woman addressed the board lamenting DeSantis administration efforts to root out diversity, equity, and inclusion, yes, or as Jason Whitlock of The Blaze likes to put it, D-I-E, die. Scams in colleges and universities and halt efforts to indoctrinate children in grade school. Yes, of course, we're talking about Groomerville. I came to the conclusion that this is all about unrolling the Civil Rights Act, the woman declared. Okay. And it's no longer a conspiracy because last week, Governor Ron DeSantis, a.k.a. Tropical Hitler, held a diversity, equity, inclusion roundtable, which includes someone who has labeled feminists an enemy of the state. Well, I'll talk about that in a little bit. During the meeting, an apparent Satanist also defended the children's book, New Kid, which details the life of a boy whose parents enroll him in a prestigious private school known for its academics, where Jordan is one of the few kids of color to enter the grade. These issues are written and age-appropriate by an author who has dedicated his career to writing for young readers. These books serve as minors, uh, mirrors, excuse me, for young black students to see their lives reflected in characters as in windows for students who are not black. Better understood how bullying and discrimination based on identity can be harmful, she said of the book, which some parents have fought to ban from school libraries. The woman then explained that she believes parents are unqualified to teach their children about some things you know, like mm, sex. I just want to say the following. Or allow that allowing. I do believe that there are a lot of things that you know should be left for, for, should be left to the parents. But allowing parents to teach about race, sexuality, that assumes that all parents are free from bias. Yes, all parents are racist, of course, and not themselves are abusing their children. She said, essentially defending state-sanctioned lessons for children on inappropriate subjects. And when we talk about God, morality, and one of the reasons why I left the Catholic Church, gee, I don't know why, it's because uh, there was a widespread amount of child abuse going on. Yes, there is a historical fact based on that. So when you talk about God, 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 and church, 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 happens to be there too. So everyone, everybody needs to be aware of it and hail Satan, she said. Oh, well, of course, let me get that in there. Another man then approached the mic, addressing the apparent Satanist comment and responded, thank God that Satan is defeated by the blood of Jesus. Amen. The unashamed promotion, excuse me, the unashamed promotion of Satanism and state overriding rights of parents comes as the DeSantis administration continues its efforts to root out the woke initiatives and protect children from leftist indoctrination in schools. DeSantis signed the Parental Rights Act education law last year, in which in part bans classroom discussions on sexual orientation and gender identity for children in kindergarten through third grade. I would have expanded it to mm, fifth, sixth, seventh grade. The state legislature is seeking to expand that to 8th grade. Yes, there you go. See, there you go. Ears were burning. And the Florida School Board Education is seeking to expand it via rule which would prohibit such discussions with limited exceptions through grade 12. But let's, um, Miss Satan has to say. Should be fine. 
the last time I was up here, um, I gave a little bit of a history lesson, and I think a lot of people may have thought um, that maybe perhaps I'm a little bit of a conspiracy theorist because I, I came to the conclusion that this is all about unrolling the Civil Rights Act. Of course it is. And it's no longer a conspiracy because last week, Governor Ron DeSantis, a.k.a. Tropical Hitler, yeah. held a uh, diversity, equity, inclusion uh, roundtable. And that was hosted by or somebody in there by the name of Scott Yenner, who has labeled feminist an enemy of the state. New Kid is a book by the celebrated author Jerry Craft. These issues are written age appropriate by an author who has dedicated his career to writing for young readers. These books serve as mirrors for young black students to see their lives reflected in the characters and as windows for students who are not black to better understand how bullying and discrimination based on identity can be harmful. I just want to say that allowing, I do believe that there are a lot of things that, you, you know, should be left to parents, but allowing parents to teach race, sexuality, that assumes that all parents are free from bias mm, and are not themselves also abusing their children. Ah, when yes. We talk about God and morality. That was one of the reasons I left the Catholic Church was because there was a widespread amount of child abuse going on. So when you talk about God, 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 and church, 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 it happens there too. So everybody needs to be aware of it. And hail Satan. Yes, let me get that in there for I roll. Let me get that in there. Let me get that in there. Yes. Of course, you yeah, those clapping, I'm assuming, like Satan too. So Thank God that Satan is defeated um, by the blood of Jesus. Boom. These are the people you love. These are the people that you love. These are the people that you don't want shunned. These are the people that you don't want to shove back in the closets. These are the people that you don't want canceled. These are the people that you want there out front and center. You want them on the microphone, chirping off, shooting their mouth off, acting the ass clown, being ignorant, and being a moron. These are the ones that you want out there because then all you have to do is sit back and go, that's it. The reason why Chaya Rajak of Libs of TikTok, all she does is show the mirror and sit back. That's it. That's all she does. And that's all you want from people like this. You know, running around with their Hail Satan t-shirts on and, you know, and going into their little monologues and then at the end, you know, throw out a Hail Satan and, you know, and knuckleheads in the audience clapping, you know, so, but. It's all fun. Now, if she truly believes in Satan, then, well, it's a little bit more serious problem. But then again, as I said in my intro, I'm going to say that she does not have any kids and she has plenty of cats. Yeah. And of course, if she is dating, you know, or she is married, I'm sure. Her husband is uh, very full of soy. I'm Josh Bergonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a thing. And we'll see you next time. Peace.